Okay, so this is kind of fun. Right now, I've rented this Tesla Model 3, and I've got it sitting in my garage, and I've got it charging on our 40 amp juice box pro. And I've got that 40 amp juice box pro in a load group with another 40 amp juice box pro. So you see right now, I'm getting 34 kilometers an hour, 20 amps, 230 something volts, and we're charging. And at the same time, sitting behind me, is our Kia Soul, and it is also charging at the same time. So here are the two juice box pros in question. Right, and there's the Furby telling us that it's charging. Remaining time, 24 hours, 10 minutes, 25%. Now, you can see when we come inside that we have two juice nets, here they are. One of them rolling just as I suspected at 20.2 amps. Uh, delivering 4.8 kilowatts, and the other one at 18.3 amps, delivering 4.3 uh, kilowatts. And that is because they are both sitting in something called a load group. See both of them here say this device is part of a load group. So if we go into load groups, we will see what all is happening here. You can see that we've got a load group configured and that its maximum current is set to 40. So currently, they are both being limited to around 20 based on the fact that they're in that load group. So this is the juice box is trying to keep us safe because currently both of those are sharing a 40 amp circuit. I don't want to blow it. I just thought this was pretty cool. Really neat seeing both of these going. But the idea is once we get our Ionic 5, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we'll be able to charge it and our venerable old Kia Soul at the same time. Thanks, y'all.